First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go on the hill here today, Garrett Cole. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And a count one and two. In 2022, Garrett Cole set the Yankees' single-season strikeout record with 257 punch-outs. Pretty amazing mark. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. The first batter of the game leaves the yard. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And, you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count and trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Here's Starling Marte. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye right there. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Ready. Next offering is in for a strike. Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates when he went to Houston. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Next pitch misses. And that's ball two. Straighten him up a little bit. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Lindor checks his swing, appeal to third, no swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Swing and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next offering is in for a strike. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs. Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. Makes the catch for the out. That is good. And now here's good. Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil. On the ground, right side. And that yeah. is that. Another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. It's now a one. Bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Narvaez makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, here's Aaron Judge, a former Rookie of the Year, an MVP in 2022, and of course, Singy, the cover man for MLB The Show in 2018. The pitch. Yeah, it's hard to imagine after Derek Keeter, the New York Yankees, having a homegrown player that can be such a face of the franchise, but this guy's not just the face, he takes up the entire cover with his size and stature. The wind of the pitch. Got him. Down on strikes. 
And he knew it. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. And first offering is fouled off. Verlander, a multi Cy Young Award winner. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. The 1 1. Popped up. Escobar moving under this one. And the inning is over. And welcome back. Second inning set to go. And here is Daniel Vogel back. First offering misses the mark. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Ground ball up the middle. On to first. And quickly one away in the second. Here's Mark Canna. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a foul ball. And a pitch. High fly ball, right field. Cabrera makes the play. That's out number two. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Bounced up the middle. Throw on to Rizzo. That ends the frame. Mets go down. Back in the Bronx. We head to the bottom of the second. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Verlander back to work. Misses off the plate. 1-0. Oh, okay. One of the things to remember about Giancarlo Stanton, only six players took fewer games to reach 350 career homers. That's impressive. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boob from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Late that time, and it's strike two. Here comes a 3-2. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Oswaldo Cabrera stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Swings and misses, and one and one. And the pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. The wind of the pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out the three of the first face. five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing Double contact. Down. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Two as he waves at that one. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. That Good one ball. misses in the dirt. And now two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Three and two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
And it's a three up, three down inning. Yanks held in check. They're down one nothing. Top half of the third inning. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Omar Narvaez. First pitch, and he just misses. Cole, a former All-Star, 32 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2011. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Nimmo, batting with one down, takes a strike. Bounce to the right. Steps on first for the out. Starling Marte up to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there for strike one. Marte, a multi-gold glove award winner, batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Papi, Pedro, the list goes on and on. And a pitch. Ground ball to the right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The flip to the pitcher covering. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Nothing doing for the Mets. They lead it 1-0. Back in New York. Now the left fielder, Aaron Hicks. And the right hater back to work. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Next offering is foul back. Righty delivers. Pitch misses there. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Here's Jose Trevino, and he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Say you win. Next one misses, and the count one and two. And down on strikes. Two gone now. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. And fouled off. Going to now. And that's outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And a ball evens the count. The pitch. No. Misses inside. Counts full three and two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Three two now. Struck him out looking. Down in order, go the Yankees. And it as we go to the top of the fourth, stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? Haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. His favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But got it by him for the K. 
Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Alonso stands in now and watches strike one. And that one hit to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. In the air out towards right center. Judge makes the catch. And that'll do it. Down in order. Go the Mets. But they here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Here is Glaber Torres. Check swing, went around, strike one. They say it went. Bounce to third. Throw off line, he's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Here is Aaron Judge. Hard liner. Canna makes the play, one away. The relay throw. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. Well, we assume it, but not all double plays are six four threes or something like that. Right there, it's just sort of a combination of good defense and poor base running, and probably more of the latter. That's a big turn of events in this inning, though. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Boog, when we talk about Anthony Rizzo defensively, one of the things I like as a former outfielder is his ability to handle foul territory and just negotiate that sidewall to make some incredible catches. The Yanks still looking for their first hit in this one. He's super aggressive, crashing at first base. He's one of the best throwers at first defensively. And, of course, he picks ball. the ball in the dirt as well as anyone. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back now in the Bronx. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Daniel Vogel back. That one finds the corner. Going one. And it's quickly nothing in two. Uh, the designated hitter. Left-hand hitter waits. Got him looking for the pay. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Stepping in, Mark Canna. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Foul ball there. The pitch just missed. Next offering is foul back. The 2 2. Out to short. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Two out, space is empty. Now the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. And that's in there for strike one. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Look out, almost got him upstairs. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. 
And that just misses. It's a good take. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Back at Yankee Stadium, John Chappie with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Giancarlo Stanton. First offering, misses the mark. Kicks and fires. And it is two and one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering is down low. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Spin rate. It's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive. Not walking anyone. I mean. This guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Next offering is fouled back. The Yankees yet to pick up a hit here. Stays alive. Next pitch misses way outside. Started to swing, held up. 2-2 Two -two now. And now it's filled up. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Early in his career with Oakland, with Donaldson struggling, he watched a lot of video on Miguel Cabrera and Jose Bautista. A's people didn't like it. They said, be yourself. He said, well, I stink, and I need to figure out why they're good. Yeah, I love that, and you got to figure it out. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. So the Yanks go in order. They still trail 1-0. Back at Yankee Stadium, all set for the top of the sixth. And now, Brandon Nimmo. That's a strike, and that's strike one. Nimmo goes six feet, three inches, 30 years old now. And he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in the state of Wyoming. Nimmo tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held up. The wide to kick the pitch. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Swings through that. Right through there, got him. That's his second strikeout. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player Francisco Lindor? 
Just a special talent. Both. Got him swinging. Pulled the string of the changeup. Welcome back. Now here's Aaron Hicks. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Ball one there. That's off the mark. Two balls and a strike. Ripped on a line. And that one is gone. That's got to feel good. And we are all tied up. It's 1-1. One, one. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this, and Bad was very patient, and it paid off. And stepping. And for the Yankees, Jose Trevino. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Jose Trevino singing a gold glover and a guy that really does a great job presenting the ball. Yeah, breakout year in 2022. Led off catchers with 21 defensive runs saved. Back-to-back -back base hits. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now, swing and a ball lifted left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Late swing, fouled off. Kicks and deals. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Glaber Torres goes yard. And the grab the lead. It's 3-1. a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay here comes Aaron Judge the outfield playing into pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap and the first pitch misses for ball one singing four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium what do you remember well I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game and you know before that game in the clubhouse there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan and he said to me hey kid you hit a home run in the game tonight come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit here's a 3-0 and now three and one so I went into the game, I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? <laughs> that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Yo one in the dirt but kept close well done behind the dish activity in the bullpen John Curtis preparing to come on if needed Smith getting cranked up as well judge leads off first with one away back to the mound fired to second double play 
What a twin killing to end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Back in the Bronx, we go to the top of the seventh. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. In for a strike. Strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown okay. inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Out to center. Judge getting an angle on it. Puts it away for the out. Jeff McNeil stands in. Good contact guy, good defender. That's a laser base hit. Up next to the net. One down, runner at first. Daniel Vogelback digs in now. In there for strike one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. On the ground to the left. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And there's a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. That one's in there on one. And ball one. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. Base hit center field. McNeil headed home. He'll score easily, and they trail by one. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. First and second, two outs. Omar Narvaez now at the plate. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Taking over on the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And that's in there for strike one. Swings through that one out in front that time. On the ground is short. Rolls across the diamond. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 3-2 ball game. And welcome back. Giancarlo Stanton at the play. The designated hitter. Giancarlo Stanton. Verlander back to work. There's a strike. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And yeah, the righty deals. Going to count one and two. Oh, 
That one missed. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Next offering is fouled back. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And he deals. Inside three and two the count. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this oh, one, and definitely right an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Josh Donaldson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Good eye right there. He goes down looking. One, two, three, go the Yankees. But they're up three to two. Back here in New York, we go to the eighth. Here's Brandon Nimmo. And a pitch. Strike one. Swing and a miss. He can't believe it. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. And there's a foul ball. And the right hater deals. Way outside, one and two to count. That's inside. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And now it's Frankie Lindor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Mets go down quickly. They trail it. Three, two. John Curtis will take over here. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Out there to center. Nimmo has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. And now it's going to be Jose Trevino. One for two. Line drive. Base hit right center field. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in, and he's got a double. Hey. 
Well, oh, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Peraza, the next to hit, takes ball one. Action in the Mets bullpen. Jeff Brigham up and loosening in the pen. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. Trevino leads off second with one gone in the inning. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Got him. And there's two away. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Labor Torres up to the plate. First pitch, just misses. Runner at second, two down. Foul ball. Next pitch is outside. And that's outside. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. Two outs and one in scoring position. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. The Yanks lead one, but they still lead it 3 2. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we go to the ninth. Here's Pete Alonso. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Clay Holmes. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. The tying run at the plate. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. And a one-two again. And a base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Substitution now at first base. On a pinch run, Tommy Pham. No outs, runner at first. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. In there in its own one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. On the ground, a short could be two. On the second, they get one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Well, that's a huge ball in play to get the double play defensively. Just one more guy to get this save for the closer. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First offering misses the mark. Holmes, the tall righty, 30 years old now, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2011. Next offering is in for a strike. Way high. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tie and run on base, but he can't groove one either. Left hand batter waits. And now it's filled up. Got him! And that's the ball game. 
great pitchers doing in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. A 3-2 final score in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Thank you.